The Indian Castile is a chemical engineer in Austria, a widow, a loving, devoted husband to his late wife and a father to his two daughters, as well as a hardworking, optimistic, and responsible man. Everything he does is for his wife and kids. He promises himself that he will strive to search for answers and create a cure for the cancer that caused his wife's death. But how would an optimistic man react once he found out that he had acute milieu leukemia? From an optimistic man to a man full of worries, would Damien maintain his optimism despite his current struggles? Will he be able to recover from his life-threatening illness? Can he return to his daughter still alive? Will he be able to complete his work on developing a cancer treatment? Mommy! Daddy, why did you shout? Mommy, wake up! It's 6 a.m. in Austria. Daddy might be awake already. Daddy! Hey, love. Miss me? Daddy! See mommy! Baby? What happened? Why are you crying? What happened to your mom? Dad! Hello? Anybody home? Where are the people in this house? Mommy, wake up! Bea? Gus? Why are you? Scarlett! What happened to her? Shit! The Shit. nurses rushed Scarlett into the emergency room together with Glenda and the two kids. They checked the vital signs and performed resuscitation. After minutes of resuscitation on Scarlett, a flat line on the heart rate monitor was heard, indicating Scarlett's death. The doctor declares Scarlett's death. Time of death, 1.17 p.m. I'm sorry for your loss. Her cancer cells have metastasized throughout her body, and her body can no longer resist it. What happened to Scarlett? I can't lose my wife. She's my world. My other half. Damn it! Why aren't you answering your phone? Hello? Damien? Ma, how's Bea Jean? She was crying about her mom when she called me earlier. Come on, Scarlett. Damien? Wala na si Scarlett. <laughs> Nasaan si Scarlett? Gusto ko siya makausap. Wala na siya, Damien. Patay na ang anak ko. <laughs> Damien made the decision to bring his daughters to Austria after Scarlett Marie's funeral so they could be together and recover from his wife's death. Hey Damien, how's everything going? Are the kids okay? Hey Ben, it's good to see you man. The kids and I are doing great. Everything has been so hectic lately after everything that happened with Scarlett and the sudden move here in East Fox, but the kids are now entering middle school and they were so excited to meet new friends in their new school. They missed you. You should come visit next time. Sure, I'll give you guys a call when my schedule is not being bombarded with work all the time. Damien came home from work exhausted and maxed out. He checked to see if the kids were sound asleep. He gave them each a kiss on the forehead and smiled. But why does his smile look so sad? Damien searched the whole night. He was searching for his wife's cure, the cancer that killed her, the cancer that took away his wife from him, his sunshine, his one true happiness, all gone, because of that stupid cancer that took her away. Why was his effort to find her cure not enough? He had spent a year trying to find at least something. Damien sighed and took big steps towards the kitchen full of anger, opened a can of beer, and took out a cigarette. He went out to the balcony, lit his cigarette, and drank cold beer that eventually calmed his nerves down. This was his tenth cigarette of the day. His anger then turned into tears. Why did you leave me, Scarlett, my love? I miss you so, so much. 
inside damien's body there are roughly about 37.2 trillion cells that do their duty to keep it healthy but suddenly damien's body detected harmful substances that enter the body it detected harmful chemicals as damien is a chemical engineer handling toxic waste while he smokes cigarettes every day which created the mutation cell the mutation cell is a change in the dna sequence of a cell mistakes in cell division can result in mutations as can exposure to environmental DNA damaging substances. Hey, Bone Marrow, could you do me a favor? Sure, what is it? Well, I heard that you should continue growing and dividing. Really? Well, okay, whatever you say. The bone marrow then continues dividing and growing until uncontrolled growth of blood cells occur. The bone marrow produces immature cells that develop into leukemia white blood cells called lymphoblasts. Hey, mutation cell, um, are you sure this is good for the body? Sure is. Yes. Daddy? Hi baby, why are you awake? It's too early. Where are you? It's nothing, dear. It was just cold outside. He carried her into the room and tucked her again into bed. Once she fell asleep, he closed the door and felt something drip from his nose. He looked down to see his white shirt stained with red and ran to the bathroom and washed his face. Was it because I haven't slept yet? I don't usually get no speeds, though. Even though when I used to stay up a whole week for work before... Damien woke up to himself in a pool of his own cold sweat. He was pale and was out of breath. Damien's fever was getting worse. He had purple bruises on his knees from trying to get to the kitchen without falling. But he still fell only a few times. He was a big buff man. How could he easily get bruises just from falling? Sheesh. This is bad. I should go to the doctor. Hey, isn't a bit crowded today? This is the red blood cell, a type of blood cell that is made in the bone marrow and found in the blood. Red blood cells contain a protein called hemoglobin which carries oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body. Yeah, is there a virus or infection here somewhere? There are way too many white blood cells, but they don't look like the typical white blood cells. They have been multiplying fast these past few months, but today, particularly, is crowded. Yeah, you're right. I can't get to where I need to go. It's too crowded. By the way, don't the white blood cells look too immature to help out the body? I wonder if there was an error in the bone marrow department. You can't even get to the bone marrow cell. That's where the crowd of WBCs are coming from. So, we don't know what's happening. Let's just do our duty before something bad happens to the body. The bone marrow became overcrowded with too many white blood cells. Other sorts of blood cells cannot therefore fit in the available space. There were only a few red blood cells and platelets that could be seen, causing the symptoms of Damien becoming out of breath, having a high fever, getting bruises easily, paleness, and nosebleeds. Hey Damien, what's up? Hey Ben, <coughs> I think I have a bad fever and I don't want the kids to worry. Could you do me a favor and help me get to the hospital? Damien, man, you scared me. I'm almost going to cry. Damien, you passed out on the couch and you were so pale. I thought you were gone and I was too late. I'm so happy you're doing fine now. Don't worry, I won't. Hello, Mr. Castrile. How are you feeling right now? A little bit better than how I was earlier. That's good to hear, Mr. Castrile. However, after some tests, we discovered that your bone marrow was producing white blood cells abnormally. Leukemia. What does that mean, Doc? What causes the abnormal production of white blood cells? Is there a threat to my friend's health? Is there anything we can do to restore the production of white blood cells back to normal? What have you been up to lately, Damien? Mr. Castrile, are you still with us? Hey bro, are you okay? 
Huh? What? Sorry, I spaced out. What were you saying again, Doc? What have you been doing recently? Are you overstressing yourself? Um, well, yes, Doc. I've been staying up a bit for work and have been striving to come up with a cure that could, uh, um, eradicate cancer. It's a long story. I see. You are exposed to various chemicals. Yeah. Damien, a variety of factors can lead to leukemia, including high radiation dosages, chemical exposure, viruses, smoking, hereditary conditions, and other cancers that can affect the blood. And in your situation, Mr. Castrile, exposure to various chemicals led to the development of acute leukemia. Leukemia is a serious illness that is difficult to treat, Mr. Castrile. The majority of leukemia patients barely make it. And in your case, the spread of white blood cells is so rapid that you need to undergo a stem cell transplant immediately. And if you do not, it might cause your death. Stop looking at me, Ben. You might get us killed. Stop. I'm just scared, Damien. We need to get you treated right away. What will happen to the kids? I'll handle the kids. Thank you, Ben. I'll make sure to get treatment. It's just pretty iconic about how I try to find a cure for cancer and... And I somehow end up getting it. Look, I'm here for you, okay? If you ever need me, I'll always be here for you, no matter what happens to you. blood cells number 2154 from the neutrophil division. Bacteria is leading up here and I need help. We'll try to send back up. There's more over here multiplying. Take care of it yourself. Why aren't these other white blood cells not helping? What is bone marrow doing? They're here outside of the body when they're supposed to be training. Hello! We're here to help you fight! The macrophages came into action. Microphages surround and kills microorganisms, ingest foreign materials, remove dead cells, and boost immune responses. Damien called his mother to bring in the kids and phone Glenda. He tells the kids, Glenda, and his mother that he has stage 3 acute milieu leukemia. Hey, hey, what's with all the mopping and crying? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hmm, how about a day in the amusement park and dinner after? How does that sound, kids? Go, have fun with the kids. I'll call some people for the best doctors around, okay? Don't you worry, Damien. Damien, Benjamin, and the kids were having fun at the park riding all the rides, eating cotton candy, playing games, and overall just having a great time. It had been a long time since Damien had fun with his family, especially with Benjamin. Damien looked at them in awe behind them, Catherine on Benjamin's back looking at the fireworks on the beautiful night sky and holding baby with his other hand. He smiled, wiped his tears, and gave them a hug from behind. They all broke into laughter. Benjamin was rushing to the hospital, speeding past everything, honking everyone that was in his way, his eyes blurry from the waterfall of tears streaming down his face, the kids beside him full of worry and tears. Screams from his mother was heard in the back seat while stroking Damien's head, begging him to stay with her, whilst Damien's pale, cold body was at the back of the seat, lifeless. Daddy, please! Damien, stay with me! We're almost at the hospital. Hold on a bit longer. Damien was dead. His body gave out. The fight inside his body with the cells failed to win. His body was rapidly deteriorating. He told no one about what the doctor had said when Benjamin left the room. He had a few days to live. He decided to spend time with his family one last time before he had to go. Damien was dead, gone, lifeless. He finally met his love, Scarlet, in the afterlife. Damien was unable to complete the cure he was working on. 
he wasn't able to fulfill the promise he made to himself due to the unexpected spread of the white blood cells throughout his body. Scarlet? Good morning, Hansan. Did you dream of me? Hmm? Good morning, Hansan. I miss you so much, love. I really do. Don't leave me. My life would be a mess without you. Damien woke up. He and Scarlet did not actually die, but it was all just a dream. But he did learn about how the cells in our body can function when it is under attack and why it is important to stay healthy and take care of ourselves. So they all lived happily ever after. Thank you.